Alright, so another thing is that um I like to critique uh the liberal versus conservatism thing. I think that uh even though I know that the left and right does matter, the liberal versus conservative battle is kinda ridiculous most of the time. Unfortunately that's what the economies confuse themselves for. So what I want to do is I want to look at two stateless societies I keep talking on and on about. First, the one I only started recently started talking about, and that's modern times. And the second one, which I talk about all the time, and it's the second one I knew about, actually, and that's Free Town Christiania. Both are functional stateless societies, yet they exist in opposite dichotomies. Freetown Christiania being more leftist, it allows for weed and it's collectivist, where so everything's shared. Whereas with modern times, it's more on the right dichotomy. Women are expected to dress a certain way and. Um, it has a mutualist function where they have their own money and the money's not being backed up by gold but rather by honest labor and a specific number of hours to that honest number of labor. And it's kind of Marx-esque because, Marxist-esque because uh, of that socially acceptable value of labor that dichotomy usually turns off a lot of Austrian libertarians such as I because we think that it's a little bit ridiculous economically speaking but they make it made it work for almost a decade before the whole civil war drama killed off modern times now you gotta understand the opposite they function opposite dichotomies, but both of these are perfect examples of a combination of libertarianism and anarchism, and anti-statism, well definitely anti-statism, because both function without the state, that's something that's already recognized, however, both also have anarchism because they have voluntary associations. Uh, there's no police or military in modern times and that's for Freetown Christiania. Everything is collectivized and voluntary. It's not forced upon them. And then you have the libertarian aspects. I mean liberty to, liberties are the metaphysical walls have been broken. There isn't this statist favoritism that's going on that's keeping these metaphysical walls intact they're already broken so there you have it they're very different very different indeed but I like both of them I think both of them are great examples of stateless societies I know fringe elements who I'm a num I'm probably his number one fan he cites his own stateless societies, um, but these stateless societies he tries to emphasize on polycentric laws, Dunbar units, how they work and function, and it's all just institutionalism arguments, which is what he's there for, and that's his forte. Whereas me, I like to use these examples because they show just the flexibilities of these terms, anarchism, libertarianism, anti-statism, I can map out all these different signs of them, and uh, I can also show how stateless societies that aren't that old or or still still exist can work. Although modern times is gone now, it's Brentwood, New York, but FML.
really that's all you gotta say. There's not much to say. Anyway, I'm probably gonna finish up this video right now because really it's just me comparing and contrasting two different functional stateless societies. I hate the argument that there's never been a stateless society that worked, that had private property, and that the anarcho capitalists sometimes say that socialism, because it's not homo economicus, happens to be non voluntary. I think that's ridiculous. And I want to lay the line. So I think this could be a good liberty versus freedom video, but I'm still skeptical. I might title it that.